What's up guys, we're gonna try something a little different in this video. I'm gonna do a video blog style, if you will. And I'm excited because it's ice racing season and I get a chance to take the silver Evo out on the ice. So that is the plan. We are going to take the Evo, drive it an hour and a half each way out to the lake uh, and hopefully do some basically ice autocrossing, if you will. So she'll be out on the ice, sliding around and uh, having some fun. So it's about five degrees outside, negative 10 with the wind chill and cold start on the Evo, running E85. Usually it doesn't go quite on the first one. Oh, almost. So give it a little gas, go again. There she goes. Power steering is really loud. To let her warm up before you drive it it does not like to just be cold started and then driven it almost it's almost like it hits feel cut if you just start driving it just kind of falls on its face if you don't let it warm up a bit first but hey 1200 cc injectors e85 five degrees i'm not complaining all right so i went and got gas just to top it off with the 85 before we head out to go racing and the power steering was really noisy when I started it, but now it's fine. It actually like was somewhat frozen or something, I'm guessing. I, I just checked the fluid level and it was like overflowing it. When I popped the, the cap for the power steering reservoir, it started squirting power steering fluid all around. So too much pressure maybe, too cold, not really sure, but we should be all set. Running good so far. So I'm waiting in line for the first official timed runs that we're going to do. We're supposed to be able to get five timed runs this morning and then hopefully four in the afternoon uh, course. So uh, we did, I got to do three practice runs, uh, two of which were bad. much to hold on to, just about that handle, that's about it. <laughs> Ready? Do I need to hold on? Oh yeah. <laughs> Isn't that awesome? That was really cool. <laughs> 
much one of the coolest sensations I've found in the car is ice racing on studs. Yeah, that was really cool. Because you can slide around, but you still have tons of grip to like go fast. Yeah, you went really fast. <laughs> What? That was really fucking cool. All right. I said, now she's going to come back and she's going to ride with you. She'll be like, why are you going so slow? So that was about it for the day out racing on the ice. And yes, that studded tire Mustang was pretty much about 30 seconds faster than me per lap time. So it certainly made the Evo feel slow after riding in that thing. But I have to say, I'm just super happy that the car made it and it survived all weekend. So that was a big plus for me. Uh, it was fun just to get out on the ice and learn, you know, more car control. That's kind of what it's really all about. And, you know, if you really care about the overall placement, you know, everyone wants to do good. Uh, there was 18 cars in my class. I was fifth in after the morning sessions, uh, but then on my best run in the afternoon, apparently I hit a cone. So that dropped me down to like 11th out of 18 people overall, which isn't really that good. But, you know, I think credit to most of the people that do this every weekend um you know it doesn't matter as much what car you have especially out there it's it's really about car control and it's really about not making those mistakes and a lot of people that do these events do them on the regular and they're good drivers for it so uh credit to them again it was a lot of fun uh so as always this is paul from boosted films saying thanks so much for watching